welcome to Synthetic Oil Protection. I'm your host, Eben, and we're back at Jeff's Garage here at Express Lube and Auto Repair. All right, we're here with our master technician, Jeff. So what are we doing, Jeff? Well, today we're gonna to do a transmission flush, and we're gonna use the transmission that we discussed is already a pump. We're gonna use that to flush the transmission. So what we're going to do is we have two of these six quart jugs, okay? And then we got two extra quarts. So we got a total of 14 quarts in here. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to add transmission fluid while the vehicle's running. It is going to pump the transmission fluid out of the transmission as we're refilling it, therefore cleaning everything and replacing 100% of the fluid. All right. So let's do it. Let's do this. I'm gonna... We're using 100% synthetic. If you're new to my channel, definitely consider subscribing. You can tap the little red icon in the corner. That way you can come back and watch this important information for your vehicle later. I'm going to fill my bucket here. Boom. Look at that Got red gold smoke. going in. Look at that stuff. Oh. Beautiful. Nice. Look at that. Very nice. Four. Boom. 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 Oh. Oh. oh, getting all crazy. Oh. Look at you, even. Making a mess. You I'm bleeding. You, uh, you mess with the messes back. Four quarts. I can double pour five quarts while opening the last one with my feet. Money, Jeff. Boom. Money. You can't get more efficient than opening one while pouring two, and then the third one goes in. Boom. And we got ourselves six quarts. Of All right, super there you have it. Synthetic ATF. Beautiful. 100% right, so synthetic. Here's what we got 100%. Okay. I'm going to send you guys downstairs. All right, Jeff. So you guys can watch the fluid coming out. You already have the hoses connected to that. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Um, so what are we doing in here, Jeff? Well, what we're going to do. Hang on. I'm so confused. What are these two little capped off? We're here with Jeff. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We, uh, we need a few people for this. I need four total. I need a cameraman. I need somebody. I'm going to have Zach over there. Zach's going to hold the hose. While he's holding the hose, it's coming, pumping out of the transmission. We're going to pour it, point it at a, a white oil filter. And we're going to actually see, you guys are going to watch as the transmission fluid gets clean. It's going to go from oxidized and dirty to beautiful, bright, bright red. It's going to be beautiful. So, uh, yeah, we're going to make And what's Lardell going to do? Lardell's going to be our ignition man. He's going to go in there. He's going to start the truck. You guys are going to tell me when it's clean. I'm going to be up here pouring, and then I'm going to yell when to stop. Give us a wave, Lardell. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right, let's do it. Go to the pit. Quick check start just to check flow, yeah? Yeah, go for it. All right, we're going to do a quick check start. Lardell, go ahead and give me a quick check start, sir. Off. Okay. We're good? No. According no. to the internet. Supposed to be the other way. Or, but it's not. or had you listened to what Jeff said and put hoses on both? There's a reason. Master mechanic or not, I'm not smarter than an a object I don't know. I never said anything about it. Yeah. You know what? WebMD actually told me I had cancer based off of a stomach pain. Yeah. They asked me that. Downside. Well, you said you found it on the internet. I just figured out which one was pumping out. Man, somehow it's wrong. So what are you doing there, Zach? We are pulling this line off, and we're going to put a longer hose on it, so we can spray it into this here pit and flush out the fluid out of the torque converter and out of the transmission cooler. Okay, wait, Even, are you familiar with Tourette syndrome? Yes. Yes, fuck, dick, piss, shit. Ah. All okay. right, we're ready. I Let's do it. Let's do it. Lardell, are you ready? Yeah. Go ahead and start this bad boy. Up. Turn it off. This is not taking fluid quick enough. I was wondering if that was going to be a problem. Uh, so I'm just going to use a different different uh, way. This seems to be restricted a little bit here. I think that the tube for the dipstick is restricted. Just... Oh, 
So what's the situation, Jeff? All right, so situation, she's not a good sucker, and that's okay, you know what? That's not always a bad thing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna feel her up first and let her blast some fluid out. Once she's blasted a little bit out, we're gonna feel her up again, and we're gonna do that about three times, cool? Cool. All right, let's do this. So where's our fill hole? So fill that hole's right here, and I'm gonna painfully pour in about, probably about four quarts. And now, no, no, not yet. We'll let you know. We're, we're about, at this pour rate, we're about four minutes from starting. You know what, if I had a larger reservoir, I think that would work better. So as soon as this finishes draining in, I'm gonna well, reinvent the wheel saying. real quick. That's fine. What do we got here, Jeff? You know, I have a tool that I don't think I've shown off before. It's called a lock driver. Now, if you ever watch a cooking show, Alton Brown calls this a unitasker because it does one thing and one thing only. But if you've ever fought with hose clamps, you either have to find the uh, 5 16 or eight millimeter socket or a slotted screwdriver with sucks. This right here clamps. It clamps and it holds on to the clamp. So if you have funny angles to get to, once you get it on, you flip the little switch down and you now have this thing attached. So when you get on here, you can actually use it to slide the clamp up and down on the hose before you start twisting. So we got that there, very, very far reach away. Honestly, I would have to deflate the tires or something stupid like that. Even if it falls off though, I go back on, I twist it, and boom that's it and it basically slips off once you've gotten it tight enough the tool actually uh almost like a torque feature i don't think it's intentionally designed but it slips off anyway so beautiful there we go what are we doing we are fixing the tip of this uh rubber hose to our flex neck to our jug reservoir we're going to use gravity we're going to get some fluid pressure from some height so i'm going to sit here like this and i'm just going to pour this bad bitch in and it is going to go down. Chug a lug, baby. Chug a lug. I can hear a burger or something. Cool. Still going slow, though, burger. Alright, so, uh, why don't you guys start the flush? I think we can do this. Alright, we're rolling, Jeff. Rolling. Lower down. Crank her up. And do one more run. Probably about a 30 second run. All right. Okay. Beautiful. Look at that liquid gold. Look at that liquid cherry. Red. Okay. Nice battery. Alright. Uh button her up down there. We'll do the rest from up top. So. Show us the lines here. Okay, there's two lines, and there's a lower line and an upper line up in here. And this lower line was the pressure line out, the upper line is the return line. If you're going to do a flush, you're going to want to disconnect this upper line so that you can flush out the fluids from the transmission cooler also and the torque converter. Perfect. All right, it's time to just top her off. So what do you, how much more do you think it needs, Zach? I think we're about a half a quart to a quart in. All right. We'll be good to go. Awesome. Let's see, pouring that liquid gold. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Just got no room with this hood. I think we've been through this before.
We're gonna do our final check and we're gonna go rip her around the block. Just gonna go ahead and check her out. Let's see. She's all good. Beautiful. Beautiful. Awesome. So if you're new to the channel, definitely consider subscribing. You can tap. All right, this is it. Zach and I are gonna go take her around the block. So uh, I don't know if you saw the engine flush we did on his truck, but we did that a few weeks ago. And since then, uh, Zach actually became an AMS oil dealer. Right. So if you wanna support him, I'm gonna put a link to his, uh, his AMS oil thing on the end of this, and that'll really help him out. And we're just down here at Jeff's garage. We're uh, getting ready to hit Boulder Highway up here. And uh, we're gonna take her around the block and. You'll get a chance to see the way she shifts. And uh, just such a cool development of this truck, you know, when we did the flush on it, it was a blast. I, I was impressed with the difference between the gas mileage and the, how it quieted down. Did not expect that. You could have told me that and I would have disbelieved you. Wow. See how she shifts. Let's, uh, let's let it go into third. Let's see what it sounds like here. Okay. Just let it shift natural. So that's beautiful Boulder City out there. We're looking, uh, what would that be, southeast. And now we're here on Tropicana and Boulder Highway. Tropicana, and that's Boulder. And now we're going to make her right. We'll see what she sounds like. She's good. There's third gear. There's third. Don't even notice it going in. Look how smooth it is. So smooth. And then here in the parking lot, we'll get a little juice on her. We'll see what she sounds like when you floor it. After turning? Yeah, let's turn in here. And go ahead and just, just stop here. Oops. Up. Oh, easy. Just stop here. Oh, okay. We'll yep. figure this out. All right. All right. Stop here. And then the count of three, Zach. Go ahead and just nail it. Three, two, one. All right. That's good. All right. So she's responsive. Uh, what all feels better, would you say? Smooth. That's smoother. really what it is. It just feels a lot smoother. And... Uh, like the, like I said with the engine flush, I wasn't expecting the engine to get quieter. You know, that's big thing. Yeah, <laughs> that's a big difference. You know, I thought it was interesting. Uh, we were running the car on the dyno the other day, and I was reviewing the footage that we had or the different slides of the dyno runs, and I had noticed that we had actually gained about five horsepower between, or horsepower and torque between wow. changing those two oils on the base runs. Wow. So obviously, you run two base runs to figure out your numbers and get uh, an idea of where you're supposed to be at or what you're looking for compared to, you know, the heat soaked runs. And so uh, the very first of both of the base runs, there was a gain of almost five horsepower on this afternoon run. Wow. And awesome. torque. And it was 10 degrees hotter out. All right. And uh, also we have a playlist up here in the corner and all the transmission fluid changes. And you can check out other vehicles we've done. This was our first official engine flush with using the pump technique where we take off the uh, return line and all that. Yep. And uh, that's pretty much sums it up. Also, uh, if you're new to the channel, definitely subscribe and hit the notification bell because Jeff and I go live every Thursday from 6.15 p.m. Las Vegas time. It's Thursday Night Live and we answer all of your questions. So definitely uh, be around for that. If you have any questions with AMSOIL, any questions with uh, just taking care of your car, protection, protection, protection. Exactly. You're the best, Zach. Really appreciate it. We'll see ya. Do you enjoy this video? If you did, definitely give it a thumbs up. That helps out my channel. Also, if you're new to the channel, you can tap the little red icon in the corner, and then you'll be able to come back and watch these videos later.